What's up everybody, Tom Pelissero here across the street from Vikings headquarters. Shortly after the NFL draft wraps up and football wraps up for the time being. No more communication allowed between teams and players. No more communication allowed between teams and agents. Everything is shut off until we get the next ruling from the Federal Appeals Court in St. Louis on the lockout and whether or not it's going to be lifted again. For now, what we have to look at is the Vikings draft class. Ten players, the most players they've drafted in 11 years. Obviously, Christian Ponder, the number 12 overall draft pick at quarterback. Kyle Rudolph, the second round pick at tight end. Only two picks in the first three rounds. Only three picks in the first 105 selections. Defense didn't get addressed until today on the final day of the draft. The Vikings did take five defensive players out of their eight picks on day three. But here's the question that I leave myself asking as I walk away from here. How did the defense get better in this draft? Obviously there's going to be a ton of questions and speculation about what Christian Ponder is going to be. We're not going to know the answer to that question for quite a while. But think back to the scouting combine in February in Indianapolis. Leslie Frazier made very clear that one of the things he wanted to do was improve a run defense that took significant steps back last season. But when you look at the guys that they added in the front seven in this draft, you did add Christian Ballard in the fourth round, 106th overall, defensive lineman from Iowa, has played inside and outside. The Vikings are going to look at him as an under tackle. Rick Spielman said they had a second round grade on him. He's a guy who fell, reportedly uh, tested positive for marijuana at the scouting combine has significant talent. They obviously want to groom him, have him ready, if in fact Kevin Williams, as expected, does have to serve his four-game suspension from the three-year-old Star Cavs case this fall. But you still have a question at nose tackle. You still have a question at left end, assuming that Ray Edwards and Pat Williams are not back. At the linebacker position, Ben Lieber could leave. They did use a sixth-round pick on Ross Holman, a linebacker from Ohio State, but there's not a lot of sixth and seventh round picks who step in and are able to contribute, much less start immediately. He's a seventh round pick on DeAndre Reed, a defensive end from Arizona. He's more of an athlete, a guy that they want to look at on special teams, a developmental prospect, perhaps somebody that they can make into an effective pass rusher down the line. And then they used a couple of draft picks on the secondary, which needed significant help. And I wonder if Brandon Burton, the cornerback from Utah, who they felt was a value pick. He may be able to be a guy who contributes immediately in sub packages. Mr. Al Raymond from South Florida, they're going to look at him at safety first, although he's built like a lot of the press corners that they like in the system. But again, go back to that front seven. Did that group really get better? And I'm not sure that they did immediately, although you'd certainly think that Ballard is a guy who they're going to be counting on for, uh, for something in this uh, out of this draft class. Fourth round defensive lineman, the Vikings had a lot of success with that, from Ray Edwards to Brian Robinson to even Everson Griffin, who they continue to have high hopes for. But you think back to Griffin last year, he played maybe 100 snaps on defense, somebody who didn't even factor on special teams until close to midseason. Did that front seven get better? I'm not sure that it did in the short term in this draft, and that makes me think maybe when free agency begins, whenever free agency begins, there are more moves at hand and perhaps some, some things that we're not seeing at this point. We will have full coverage of all this, the developments, mini camps, or more lockout, whatever we've got. We'll have it at 1500ESPN.com. See ya.